Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this tutorial, we will talk about cell junctions. So in simple terms, if we say, cell junction is a bridge that connects two cells or attaches a cell to its extracellular matrix. But if you remind, making connections between cells and the extracellular matrix is a property of cell adhesion molecules. So where is the difference? To make it clear, let's know a bit more about cell junction. Suppose it's the cell membrane of a cell. On the surface of the cell membrane, there are numerous discrete patches or spots which we call cell junctions. If we zoom one of these blinking structures, we find it's actually a bunch formed of clusters of other molecules. And these molecules are what we call cell adhesion molecules. So informally we can say cell junctions are formed of cell adhesion molecules. In this video, we will be able to know only about the types of cell junctions. Next videos will feature each junction with function, structure and properties separately. So there are mainly three types of cell junctions. First one is anchoring junctions. Second one we have occluding junctions. The third one is the channel forming junctions. Now, each of these categories possess different cell adhesion molecules or adhesion receptors. In case of the anchoring junctions, they can have either cadherin or integrin. The occluding junctions have occludin, chlorine or gems, that is, junctional adhesion molecules. The channel forming junctions have connexins, innexins or pannexins as cell transmembrane linker proteins or simply CAMs. Now let's know the subdivisions of these junctions. The anchoring junctions are further categorized into two types depending upon the type of cytoskeletal anchor protein they have. The junctions can possess either actin filaments or they can also have intermediate filaments. Now the junctions which contain actin filaments they are called adherent junctions. These junctions are present between two cells. On the other hand, anchoring junctions having intermediate filaments are further divided into two categories, desmosomes and hemidesmosomes. The desmosome junction is found between two cells, but hemidesmosome is present between a cell and the extracellular matrix. Now let's move to the second class of junction, the occluding junctions. They are classified according to their presence whether in vertebrates or invertebrates. So in vertebrates, they are called tight junctions. And in case of the invertebrates, they are referred septate junctions. Finally, the third junction is the channel forming junctions. They are present both in animals and plants. In animals, they are known gap junctions. While in plants, they are called plasmodesmata. This was all. Thanks for watching.